And we are live. Hey everyone, welcome to today's Facebook Live. We have Shaden Scott joining us and his cute girlfriend, Tatum. Hi. <laughs> so we had a bunch of people asking in the DMs, who is Tatum? Do Shaden and Landon have girlfriends? Did Shaden or Landon change their name to Tatum? Because some people are unfamiliar with who this darling girl is. So we are gonna introduce you today to Tatum. If you haven't been following um, these crazy cats have been dating for a couple years now and she's just darling we love her so we are gonna just gonna dive on in here um, be sure to leave in the comments where you were from represent your state represent your country as always it's so fun to make those connections and see where our viewers live because you guys know we live all over the world and so it's so fun to make those connections so we are gonna dive on in here uh, the first person I see on here is Cat Ireland hi welcome glad you guys are here um, so as people are joining on here, um, Tatum is beautiful, Lindsay, I agree, and Karen <laughs> is from Alabama. Um, Lori is from Iowa, good to see you, and Kat lives in the UK. Uh, Vicky says, hi Jamie, Shaden, and girlfriend. <laughs> so um, let's dive on in here. Some of the questions that have come in, um, we will get to those in a second. I think it'd be fun, Shaden, if you would introduce who this lovely gal is, how you guys met, a little bit about yourself, Tatum, and then we'll dive into the questions that have already been submitted. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so this is Tatum. Uh, we have been dating for a little over two years, like two years and two months tomorrow, I think. Yes. Wow, so. these guys know, like to the day. Two mm -hmm. years and two months and two days? Two months tomorrow. Oh, okay. two months tomorrow, okay. I was like, you guys are even yeah. counting days. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we met in a foods class in high school. She was a sophomore and I was a junior. Um, and I walked into that class very late. Um, and she was already in there. And she saw me and she started blushing. Okay. So I knew she had a crush on me. <laughs> so I made it my goal to get to know her better. And it worked out. It was a good decision. Yeah. Best decision of your life? Mm -hmm. Signing up for the foods class. <laughs> Um, Tatum, what was your experience in meeting Shaden? Um, I just remember him sitting down by me and it was my first day at a new school. So I didn't know hardly anybody. And he sat down by me and he was like, do you know what we're doing on this assignment? And I was like, I'm going to have to help him on every assignment <laughs> in this class. Yeah. So she, I asked her that and she said, no, I don't. And I looked over and she had like three paragraphs typed. And I was like, <laughs> you obviously know what we're doing. <laughs> So that's cute. So then how did he, like, the story of, like, how you could tell that he liked you? Like, can you tell us a little bit more about that particular time where you're like, <laughs> who is this guy? I had no idea he liked <laughs> she me. Had no I clue. Just, he would just come over to my kitchen sometimes and he would just eat, like, the vegetables that I was chopping for our assignments. Okay, so to clarify, <laughs> you were in a cooking class mm -hmm. and there were multiple kitchens within the cooking class yeah. at the high school. Like, eight to ten. Okay, so there was a lot. Of so kitchen. he came into your kitchen. Mm -hmm. in your okay. kitchen. <laughs> and I was, I remember I was chopping up this one specific dice of a potato, and I worked so hard to get it perfectly so I could pass it off with my teacher so I could get my A in that class. <laughs> and he came over and he just ate the whole thing. <laughs> and I just, did, I just froze looking at him. I was like, what? What do I do? <laughs> so part of the assignment was having like dicing it properly, yeah, right? Like a certain shape. It had okay. to be like mm -hmm. a certain like quarter inch or something and I did mine in like 30 seconds and then went over and bothered her <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's the story of how they met in the cooking class so if you watch the last vlog we celebrate Shaden and Landon's birthday your friend Gage appears just briefly mm -hmm. in the vlog and you met Gage through the cooking class as well right yeah so I actually met him in Spanish and we were like kind okay. of friends because we didn't like the class. And then in the next year we took Pro Start, which is like the advanced cooking class. Mm -hmm. And he was the only one in there I knew. So we hung out every day and we were both very late every day. <laughs> and that's how you met Gage. Mm -hmm. So if you attend Desert Hills High School, the foods class is amazing. You might just get yourself a girlfriend yes. or a best friend like Gage. Would recommend. Yeah, Landon is definitely signing up for that class for sure. <laughs> um, somebody says, Michelle says, Jamie, those two are the cutest. I would agree, we love Tatum, she's a keeper. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so can we dive on in and start answering some of these questions that people have asked for the two of you? Let's do it. 
it. Awesome. Okay, Heather is joining us from North Ireland, um, and somebody says Gage reminds you of Shaden, and people are asking about Norway. So we're going to dive into all of those questions, and these kids are going to answer them. Okay, Claire Marie, thirty-three. So just to clarify, some of these questions did come in from Instagram. And this is a question that was asked over on Instagram. What is your favorite Olympic event so far? Mine would probably have to be women's gymnastics. I'm just in awe of how they do everything. It's insane how talented they are. Yeah. Simone Biles is my favorite. Do you have another favorite or do you really like her? I like her. Yeah, she's, she's so amazing. talented. It is so impressive. That's probably your my favorite to watch. We've been watching a lot of swimming though. Okay. Because there's been a lot of like really dominant swimmers. Me, me and dad have been watching it. I don't know how swimming works, but I just know whoever's in first wins, so. That's typically yeah. how it works. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty entertaining, it's good. Yeah. Okay, your next question. Anne wants to know, how old are the boys? So I just turned 19 on Sunday, so mm -hmm. like three days ago. So yes. I'm 19 and Landon turns 14 on Saturday. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah, so these boys were born five years and five days apart, but actually I think you guys are six days it's apart. Six days. We All these years we've been saying five for, years, forever. five days. But there's a 31st of July. So. Yeah, that we forget. Yeah. So anyway, these guys are five years and six days apart. Okay, our next question is from Travis and Tammy Walton. How tall are you, Shaden? And thanks for sharing your life with us. Of course. So I am 6'1". I've got my... Grandpa Smith, your dad's height, which I'm very grateful for. Because <laughs> how tall is dad? Dad's 5'10". He says 5'11". I was going to say, I, he always <laughs> told me 5'11", but really he's 5'10". Yeah, okay. With shoes on, he's 5'11". Yeah. And then he's got Uncle Shay that's 6'4". Six, 6'4". Four. Six, four. So you've got height on the Scott side and on the Smith side. That works in your favor as a soccer player. Tatum, how old are you? Or how, how tall are you? And how old are you? <laughs> I'm like... Five, 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 six, depending on the day. And I turned 18 in March. Yep, she's great. We love her, <laughs> she's great. Okay, your next question is from Jenna. When does college start? And to clarify, both of you are attending different colleges. So when does college start for you, Shaden? And when so, does it start for you, Tatum? I honestly have no idea when the classes start. Okay. Uh, we have to go up like three-ish weeks early um, for the soccer team. So I'll head up tomorrow, the first. And I think classes start like late August. So I'll be up there for a while just practicing and get to know the team. Cool. And you have teammates that play on this team in mm -hmm. central Wyoming from all over the world. Is that correct? Yeah. So we've got uh, some kids from England, a couple from the UK. We have some Italians, some Germans, um, kids from all over the US. We have some Canadians. It's it's. The Brazilians and Colombians are my favorite, though. They're so funny. They? They're so good. They're really yeah, talented. so many talented, so many talented players. So I'm really excited to go up and watch some of your games. You have a game where you play up at Salt Lake Community College, which I always make sure we go to that one and bring the Quints to. But the Quints might actually be with Dad mm -hmm. because I want to say last year they were with me. So, so we'll have I to think, see how that works, but I'll definitely be there. He's probably game to come up I'm too. pretty yeah. sure Dad will be up there for that up. one too. Um, somebody says, my boys swim, so we've enjoyed watching the swimming yeah, with the Olympics is what Felicia says. Very entertaining. Mm -hmm. It's um, so impressive. It's so fun. And then, okay, I'm going to scoot up so my face is going to be a little bit bigger than everybody else's just so I can read. Um, we've got people joining us from Ecuador, from Odessa, Texas. Um, how far is the college from home, Shaden? So it's about... How long of a drive? It's about a nine hour drive. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I do it a little quicker than that, but about nine hours. <laughs> yeah, so it's not bad. You okay. can do it in a day. So yeah. yeah, we moved you in last year and mm -hmm. it wasn't too bad of a drive. Yeah. Um, you all are matching. We are, I guess everybody likes blue. <laughs> yeah. So Tatum, how far away is your school from Southern Utah? Mine's not super far at all. It's like three, four hours. Mm -hmm. So it's not, Nearly as bad as Shaden's <laughs> And then what's the difference between both of your schools, which I know you guys have calculated, the distance between the two schools to it's drive? It's five and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, not bad. Not terrible. A little closer than Southern Utah. Mm -hmm. And she, or, um, what are each of you studying in school? Study? I'm studying psychology. Yeah, and I'm studying social work. So, they're two pretty similar degrees, especially at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of our classes, well, a lot of the classes I took, she took in high school because... She's a lot smarter than me, but yeah. <laughs> 
So cool, yeah. We're excited for the both of them. Um, let's see, oh, and when does college start for you, Tatum? Um, I go up there the 16th and my classes start the 21st. Okay, so you're gonna get settled in. Is your mom driving up with you? Yeah, all, my whole family's driving up oh, with Oh, okay, me. it's a tradition to like drive up with your kid, get them all settled in. I know I took Shade in grocery shopping and we just loaded up that cart. Yeah. And then I think dad came up to visit you yeah. and did the you same thing. Of food, yeah, so. which I, I know as a college kid, you're just always grateful for, for as sure. you're starting <laughs> out. So that's exciting. Are you rooming with anybody that you know? Yeah, I'm actually moving up there with my best friend. We've been best friends since second grade. That's so, so cool. So we're really excited to live together. That'll, That'll be, be fun. so much fun. And then Shaden, are you rooming with anybody that you know? I don't know how the rooming situation is going to work yet. No one does. So, so Coach has signed everybody, I, yeah. right? I've been calling Coach and he's just like, oh, we're still figuring it out. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. So I don't know what I should bring and what I shouldn't bring. But hopefully I get to have cool people in my room. Yes. Shaden gets along with just about anybody. So I'm sure he's going to be just fine. But I am excited. Like if you room with somebody from a different country, are you going to learn... A little bit of a foreign language we'll see yeah yeah it will be fun you'll come back speaking a little bit of Portuguese or German Something or Italian like that. or... That'd, be, that'd be pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> okay um house is empty did you find a place okay people are noticing that all little kids are up at grandma Smith's house she's watching the kids so that I can film this my house is completely empty except for the vacuum the mop you know like all of that stuff so yes we have officially moved out of this home and I have almost signed papers for a new place. So stay tuned for that in the vlog. I will be announcing and sharing that. Um, I'm really excited for a new fresh space to decorate and call home. And I think home is what you make it and home is where family is. So anyway, yes, that is a great question. Okay, guys, your next question is... Lorna asks, do any of you have a girlfriend and who is Tatum? So we just covered that. Does Lannon have a girlfriend? A girlfriend's pretty official. Yeah. Yeah. He is leaving middle school, going into high school. So I don't think he has a girlfriend yet. No, like, no. Does he like girls? Yes. yes. Does he like more than one girl? Yes. So <laughs> I think that's yeah. good. Nor would he tell us if he did. I don't well, know if he would. Well, I... Like He's like, you'll have to ask Aunt Katie. And I was like, so I seriously called Aunt Katie. I was like, Aunt Katie, tell me who he likes. And she told me, and I was like, what? This is cool. So anyway, <laughs> she lives in the neighborhood. She's really sweet. And each of my boys, I'm like, well, what do they look like? And every time my boys are like, mom, you really going to ask me this? Blonde, blue eyed, <laughs> and like sweet as can be, which we like, which we like. So, okay. Your next question is from Regina. What are you both looking forward to this year? Ooh, I'm really excited for the soccer season. I'm like so stoked. i am definitely been looking forward to it all summer because last season was so much fun. So, so and hoping for more playing time because everybody is so dang good on the college team, right? Sure, yeah. So we're going to have about 40 plus two. It's 45. Whoa. And there's only 11 spots on a team. So everybody's yeah. fighting for that playing <laughs> time. Yeah, which will be a very fun environment for everyone. So good. Yeah. <laughs> good. What are you looking forward to most? I'm really excited to see Shaden play again because last year I didn't get to see very many of his games since they were just so far away. Mm -hmm. And now they're a lot closer, so I'll be able to go to most of his Saturday games, which will be awesome. Are you seriously going to try and drive to all of those? No. I'm going to wow. try. That is commitment to them. <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Um, what are you most excited about for you this year, though, with college? Um, I'm excited to meet my other roommates. We've been texting a little bit. They both live up there already, so I'm excited to get to know them and just go to all the school activities with them. It'll be super fun. Cool. That is cool. Okay, your next question is from Steph M750. Any tips for navigating a long distance relationship once college starts? This is a really good question. That's a good question. So we did long distance for a full year while she was finishing up her high school years and I, I started as a freshman. It was hard. Um, the hardest part was definitely just being away from each other. Mm -hmm. um, being committed to each other has never been a problem for us. That, that's the easy stuff. But it's just hard not being with your person um, in the distances. It's tough. I miss her hugs. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> You're a good hugger, Tatum. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? Any advice or tips? I think the best thing is communication. As long as you communicate with the other person what you expect in the relationship, um, how you guys want to stay close, 
because me and Shaden's love language is both physical touch. So that was hard because whenever we hang out, I'll just like hold his hand or something. Mm -hmm. And then whenever we were FaceTiming, it was just different. So we had to lean on our other love languages to. Yeah. I like that. I like that you pointed that out. Yeah. Um, and his love language is touch. Yeah. It, it was hard. We both had, we made Build-A-Bears of each other. So mine <laughs> looks like her. And she sent me up with some of her perfume and she has one of me with my clone. So on the hard nights, we had something to cut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning all this insider stuff. <laughs> did you know your cousin? She and her boyfriend like did the same thing. Mm -hmm. They made build a bears and they sprayed it with each other's yep. cologne and perfume so they could like smell each other's scent. Oh, yeah. okay. and it helps. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. these are helpful things. Mm -hmm. um, the only experience I have with long distance dating was when I was dating Austin, as you guys know. Mm -hmm. And I was asking these these cute kids like, how do you do that? Like, it's yeah. so. The distance is so far, and what do you do when you miss that person? So hopefully these are some things that are helpful if you have um, young family members that are dating long distance that want to continue dating and continuing that relationship, or you yourself have dated long distance. Um, those are all things that have been helpful to these kids. So it's been fun to see them still just going strong and just so respectful of each other. That's one thing that I really admire about the two of you is just how respectful you are of each other and how you make time for each other even though there was that distance mm -hmm. it's been really fun to watch okay your next question is um what surprised you most about norway shaden can we can we, the, can the we talk about norway question. yeah yes. and talk a little louder so everybody can hear it you. it was a very fun trip i'm so glad i did it it was definitely worth it um so i went up to visit a buddy that's living up there to get his dual citizenship um, so now he'll actually be a citizen of the U.S., I think, oh, I want to say Brazil, and then also Norway. It's so, so cool. So yeah. your friend Josh, his mom is Norwegian and his dad is Brazilian. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is pretty, pretty freaking cool. And he's, he's a cool <laughs> dude. So I flew up there for two weeks. Um, took me about two full days to get up there. It was a lot of travel, so I'm glad to be home. Um, and not on an airplane. That was that was <laughs> rough. Um, so it was, it was probably about twenty hours worth of flights. So wait the whole time. You couldn't sleep. It at was all. brutal. I was too stressed. I was going to miss a, a flight or something with how expensive those tickets were. Yeah. I wasn't risking. I mean, you and Dad found the best deal possible, but still, you don't want to miss getting yeah, off no. the flight and getting on to yes. your next flight. Yeah. But um, it was a ton of fun. It's so pretty up there. It's kind of similar to the United States Northwest. Okay. Um, except for there's a lot more rolling hills, kind of that rainy weather okay. um, to where it's it's a drizzle and it's it's so pretty. Every everything's green. Yeah. So do you think I should go there? I would recommend. Would I love it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You gonna bring Tatum? She'd love it. Yeah. I think <laughs> Dad would have loved it too because we ate carbs for like ninety percent of our meals. <laughs> and your dad is a yeah. carb fella. Yeah, <laughs> You would love their food. I love it. So I think we are going to photo dump a whole bunch of Norway pictures. Mm -hmm. um, so after we do this live, Shaden's going to airdrop a whole bunch of pictures from Norway. And so I will be including those in the up and coming vlog. And hopefully you can talk about your Norway trip for the live video. Um, so stay tuned for, or not the live video, for the next vlog. So stay tuned for that one um, coming up this week. And um, I saw a question that just came in. Did you get a scholarship for soccer? I did. So last year I was on, I had full tuition paid for with my GPA. Um, and then for this year with my, I'll get a soccer scholarship. So I'll be full ride. So grades matter. Yes. <laughs> grades yeah. matter. Yes. And then Tatum, did you end up with a scholarship this year too? Yeah, I got a scholarship for my grades too. So I don't have to worry about school at all, which is nice. Yay. Mm -hmm. I just got scholarships for my grades, for Sterling Scholar stuff, just random things. This girl was <laughs> Sterling Scholar. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Um, it was really fun. My business teacher told me that I should apply to be the business and marketing Sterling Scholar in my senior year. So I applied and then I ended up going to regionals and I got runner up for a region, which was cool. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm just super proud of these kids. I'm sure your parents especially are more proud of you than <laughs> I am, but I'm super proud of this girl. And I'm just excited to see what the two of you do next, individually, collectively, as a couple. It's just fun to watch. So, um, okay, your next question is, Shaden, what did you think when your parents told you there were five babies? 
Ooh, that was a fun day. A lot more fun for me and Landy than it was for you and Dad. <laughs> we were just like, oh, we get five more siblings because we'd wanted a sibling for a while. Yeah. And we were like, oh, now we get five because we didn't realize how much it would change everything, especially you and Dad's life. Yes. Yeah. yeah it, so. it was a day yeah. that I will never forget. <laughs> and I, I did put that into a little video. I should do like another little reel or yeah. something because I feel me reactions. So I think we were just all in shock. Yeah. And what was your first guess? Uh, what do you mean? When? Like, I think I pulled you guys out of school and I said, guess how many babies? Cause we kind of had a heads up that there was more than one just cause my HCG levels were high. Mm -hmm. I think Landon guessed twins. And you guessed triplets originally. Yeah, or something like that. Didn't you pray for like five or six? So the night, one of those nights, uh, you prayed for one, and then I prayed for quadruplets. What? And you we, are killing me, Shaven. It's your fault. We both got our wish. Oh it's my true. gosh. And you got yours, and I got mine. Yeah, so. well, I prayed for Violet, and yeah. you prayed for the other four, so we all got our wish, right? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so it yeah that that day changed our lives forever, but for the better. Okay, Caitlin asks, how has Shaden changed over time since meeting Tatum? So I think I'll take this one if that's okay. Yeah. I think one thing that I've noticed is like this tenderness about Shaden while dating Tatum, and it reminds me of like when you were a little boy, like very thoughtful, very compassionate, very empathetic. And it's just fun to see you grow. I mean, maybe you started wearing a little bit more cologne as you left the house a couple <laughs> years ago, or maybe you combed your hair a little more. I don't know, just little things here and there like that. But I think the thing that I have been most excited about is just to see how you light up when you're around her. And I just feel like you've helped to make him a better person. He was already great to begin with, but you just add to it. So that's been my observation as your mom and getting to know you, Tatum. Thank you. You're welcome. Because it is cute. Okay. Um, let's see. Kathy asks, what is the best thing about your freshman year, Shaden? Oh, I'm trying to think. The first semester was definitely playing soccer. Um, getting to play on the team. But second semester, my roommates, we had so much fun together, especially towards the end when I wasn't working as much. We went on a lot of adventures. So... That was probably my favorite part. What was your most? Bunk beds. We did. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you turned all your beds into bunk beds. So our very last week of school, um, I think my one of my buddies, Mac, was going to be serving a mission, so I wouldn't have seen him for a while. And then um, I think my other buddy wasn't coming back, so we we're like, "Hey, let's live it up, um, lose some sleep." So we moved all of our beds into the living room, all four beds. We stacked them. To, Side by side, so we had two bunk beds. So we all slept in the front room and we had a projector. We played video games like all night and it was a ton of fun. So video games, This is, I don't know if I can say this online, but this is one of the questions and I was gonna ask this, uh -huh. but I think since you all play video games and there's people from countries all over the world, you've learned different swear words in different languages from I all have, over the world. Can yeah. I just say that? I, I learned a lot, yeah. I say, you uh, learned a lot. Yeah, I so, say calaboca a lot, which is Portuguese. I don't know if I say it right, but... Is that a really bad word? I don't think it's a swear word. They, okay. they told me it means shut up. And do I believe okay. them? Maybe. Okay, but whenever we played uh, one of our video games, whenever we die, we'd all yell it. And it was funny. Okay, yeah. so they learn how to say different things in different languages and the bond the male bonding experience has everything to do with playing video games for these young kids yes. at this college <laughs> that's fun i like hearing these stories tatum do you think you're gonna have any crazy stories like that i don't know i mean <laughs> the college that i'm going to has a really good student life aspect which is like part of the reason why i chose it okay so they have tons of fun activities that i'm excited for cool i'm excited i'm excited for your first semester Okay, next question is from Suzanne or Susan. How was Norway, Norway, which part or cities did you visit? So I was in Trondheim for most of the trip. So I flew into Oslo, Norway. Okay. And I took a train to Trondheim. Okay. Um, and that's where we stayed in our Airbnb for most of the trip. 
And then uh, Josh's family has a really old farm that they've had for like hundreds of years. His grandparents live on wow. in Selbu. So Selbu, Selbu is right. mainly where his friend Josh is from, yeah. his family is from. Yeah, so we were on the farm for probably about a third of the trip and it was so pretty, yeah. So there's fresh rash, raspberry bushes that we ate from the whole the whole trip. We made some jam, it was, it was a ton of fun. Ooh, yeah. that sounds fun. <laughs> it was a blast, it was all green. And, rainy a little bit and beautiful yeah. so you went to some beaches you went mm -hmm. to a thrift store and you asked me about souvenirs and i said could you go to a thrift shop and find me like a vintage children's book mm -hmm. and you, did you bring it yet i forgot it i'm Every so excited it, i'm so excited i'm not really going to be able to read it to the quince because yeah. it's in what language do they norwegian. speak in norwegian? Yeah. norwegian and so um but the pictures i'm excited to see the pictures tatum looks like savannah lamb Brand like from Cole and Savannah. Do you, do you follow those Instagram people? I don't think so. I don't have Instagram. Oh, they're so <laughs> cute. Their whole family. They're like huge on Instagram. Oh, cool. Um, I'm gonna have to show you, and you're gonna be like, oh, <laughs> that's flattering. That girl's beautiful. <laughs> she, yeah, she really is. We love Tatum. She's darling, and she has a younger sister that's about Landon's age. Just mm -hmm. saying. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, we've tried. I, know, I think we've all tried. <laughs> we've all tried. Okay. Um. I'm going to scoot up a little bit closer. If you guys have questions for Tatum and Shaden, you can ask them now and they are happy to take questions. I've already checked with them and they're cool with that. Um, so if you have questions, they are happy to answer them. And then let's see. Um, we've got gals saying hi to each other. You guys must live close to each other. <laughs> okay. Um, Krista, everyone's just saying hey to each other. I don't know if you guys were friends before this, or if you're just making these connections now, but this is so fun. Okay, does Tatum secretly have a favorite Quint? Who do you feel closest to? That's a I feel like question. it changes every single time I okay. see them. Right now, it's probably Daisy. Really? Just, she's just been so sweet and loving lately. Yes, I agree. She's been my little buddy. I agree. Okay, so Mary, this is Tatum. This is Shaden's girlfriend. They've been together for a couple years now. They met in high school, and then they've done long-distance dating over the last year. Um, how many kids do you all want? <laughs> well, if you guys choose to get married one day, how many kids would you guys want? I think it depends. I always joke to Tatum that um, I have quintuplets in my jeans. I was like, don't Which ever say that to it's anybody. It's not true, but it's no. really funny. So I say we're, we're going to have sex tuplets just because... It's a little better. I don't think it's right. <laughs> no, it's kill her now. Funny. Gosh. <laughs> I say an even number so nobody has to sit alone at Disneyland. That's, that's even really numbers. Good. I like that. I like that. Somebody asked what would be your dream date, Tatum. My dream date? Oh, I Listen don't know. closely, Shaden. <laughs> write this down. He's taking me on lots of really, really good dates. Mm -hmm. I don't know what my dream date would be, though. I really love the ocean, so maybe just a beachside picnic, just something simple. Something cute. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self. Okay. Um, how is your twin doing? Mary asked. So Shaden and Landon are actually not twins, but their birthdays are so close together that since they were little, they've always wanted to have a joint birthday party. Um, so Landon just turned, well, he'll be 14 on Saturday um, and Shaden's 19. What is your spirit animal is what somebody just asked. And well, Tatum, why don't you go first? I want to hear this. I feel like mine's a butterfly. A butterfly? Ooh. I've always felt like mine's a butterfly. I just like them. They're cute. That's a good answer. I like I like giraffes. So if I could choose. That, giraffes. You still be. like giraffes since yeah. you were little. So your dad went on a trip when you were about one years old, and he brought you back like a little stuffed animal. And so he peeked it over like your little crib, and he was like, because you were always such a happy baby. And so he was like, oh, well, you're so happy. And so you named the giraffe happy. And so I guess ever since, drafts have been your favorite. Yeah. That's cute. Uh, you guys are cute. <laughs> okay. Um, Bernadette says she loves butterflies. Um, you should visit South Africa, Shaden, is what Robin says, yeah, if you some, love drafts. Some, some real drafts. You yeah. guys could travel the world. Yeah. That could be cool. <laughs> that could be way cool. Um, butterfly is her favorite, too. What kind of cosmetics do you use, Tatum? Ooh, um, I mostly just use... Walmart brand like e.l.f. I use the e.l.f. concealer and then I use telescopic mascara and I think that's about it. What brand is telescopic? Um, I think it's L'Oreal. Ooh. I really like the telescopic Well, this girl's mascara. beautiful, so if you want to look like her, <laughs> buy e.l.f. products and telescopic. 
eyelash. Are you both LDS is Gloria's question. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. We grew up in the church. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have a word you're going to go up yeah. to in college? So the apartment that I'm staying at, um, there's actually a church that's right by it. So that was part of the appeal when me and my friend were picking apartments. We were like, we could just easily walk to church, even when it's negative a billion degrees. <laughs> She's going to be living up in the snow. Not as cold as Shaden. Mm -mm. And then how close is a church building to your college? It's across the street from the parking lot. So, so you literally yeah. see it every time you leave And your sometimes apartment. I'm still late. So. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, I think you need a kangaroo now. That's what Donna says. Kangaroo. That could be cool. That could be fun. A baby one. Tatum is obsessed mm -hmm. with baby animals. She wants to raise them because she thinks she she thinks she could raise a crocodile and it wouldn't eat her. <laughs> if you raise it from a baby and it thinks that you're his mom, I feel like <laughs> it would just love you, you and not eat exactly. you. I don't. She's not I don't allowed. know. She's not okay, allowed. somebody just asked, "What is your favorite Bible verse? Do you have a favorite scripture?" Oh, I can't remember what it is, but. I don't know if you guys will know it, but it's the, I had it memorized. These gals are ago. good. They'll know it. They'll know it. You just say it's, the gist of it and someone will be like, oh, I know it. These gals so are amazing. So it says like, um, not, and it's something about the spirit always being with you. I used to have it saved in my phone, but I got a new phone and I lost everything. <laughs> I can't remember what it is now anymore. Something about the spirit of not. Do you guys know that? Something. It something. Something. Such a something good one. Else. Um, Shaden, do you have a favorite scripture that you can think of no, or a story, Bible a story that you love? Favorite one, um, not off the top of my head, I can't think of a specific verse. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody just asked, what's your favorite color? Mine's green. Mm -hmm. Mine was blue and then she got me hooked on green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Something about a cord of three strands is not easily broken. I don't think it's that one though that you're referencing. I don't referencing. think so. It's a different... I'm trying to think. I will send it to you if I remember it. <laughs> okay, we'll post it on a story. <laughs> what is your favorite food is Lola's question. Um, our favorite food to get is sushi. Mm -hmm. We love sushi. Um, I love steaks for a while, but I've kind of moved away from them because I ate so many in college. Do you have a favorite sushi restaurant or place that you'd like to get sushi from here in Southern Utah? We love Benja's. That, that's Benja's. our spot. Benja's. So if you were really visiting good. Southern Utah, Benja's is amazing. Um, the gal is named Benja. She's from Thailand. And her food is incredible. Yeah, it's really good. Good curries, good sushi rolls. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite kinds of foods? And do you both like to cook? I like to cook. I probably cook more than you say i like to bake more than cooking yeah that's, that's a good combination so you got a baker so and you you've got a dinner, cook she makes dessert <laughs> <laughs> somebody just said they love watching you from south africa you will love the giraffes up front so the guy i'm dating actually served his mission in south africa so cool. and you actually had an ancestor that lived in south africa really? like 150 years ago, 100 years ago, which I didn't know until I was doing genealogy. So we do have ties to South Africa, which is kind of cool. Shauna says, hey guys. <laughs> okay, um, if any of you lack wisdom, it's let him ask of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, what scripture is that? That's in the Bible? Yeah, it says if any is it of like you James lack wisdom, something? let him ask of God, unbraideth not, and he shall reveal it to you or something like something that. Something like that, okay, cool. I love that one. Um, somebody said, did you find a house? I think so. Just about. Prudence Hopefully. says a banker and a chef. How was Norway? Shaden just barely talked about it. He loved it. He said it was super green. Somebody says they live in Tron... Trondheim. Yes, Trondheim. Yeah, okay. It's so pretty. James 1 5. Is James that it? 5. Yep. That's it. Okay, yep. you guys are amazing. I Thank knew you, so you all much. would know that Bible <laughs> verse. So you guys ask good questions and then you help us fill in the pieces when we can't think because mm -hmm. we're talking on the fly. So, <laughs> okay. Any more questions? And these cute cats are happy to answer them. Mm -hmm. I feel so old. <laughs> I'm so old. Okay. Uh, what was your favorite date? Favorite date we've done. Uh, mine's probably going to have to be our homecoming dance. That was my senior year, your junior year. Mm -hmm. What color was dress was that? Front. That was the purple one. Okay. Right? I remember which was dance it was no, based was on black. Tatum's outfit. Oh, you wore the black I just wore like a short black dress. Mm -hmm. But I'm oh, the short black dress. Yeah. Was that the first one? When yeah, I first that was one where that was the first one. And you were yeah. wearing your mom's yeah. dress? Yeah. Yes, I remember that. Okay, we've got people joining us from North Carolina, New Zealand. Um, have you seen any Bollywood movies? I haven't, no. 
None that I can think of. I was going to say yes, but you weren't alive. You weren't born then. Dad and I were dating and we were engaged and we both nannied for a family from India. And so we would watch all these Bollywood movies. And I remember the gal was just drop dead gorgeous. She was Indian, but she had the most piercing blue eyes. You'll probably know who I'm referencing. This was about... 20 years ago, absolutely gorgeous lady. Um, but you guys haven't seen any Bollywood films, so <laughs> you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Um, hello from Australia. It's good to see you, Anita. Um, hi from Brisbane, Brisbane, Australia, and Henderson, Nevada. I know where Henderson is. We have cousins that live there, and we love it. We love it. Um, we've got people joining us from Massachusetts and Charleston. I've always wanted to visit Charleston. How does Violet feel about Tatum? Like, is she jealous? Is that the question? <laughs> uh, I, I think all the prints love Tatum. Yeah. So I wouldn't say jealous, but I've got two sides. So they both said <laughs> I've got two sides. Yeah. That's great. There's room for loving everybody in our family. Um, watching the Olympics. Good evening from the UK. Watching from Phoenix, Arizona. We love our Phoenix fan base. That is where we got our start. Um, what's somebody just asked? Question. Hello from Washington State. Howdy from Inez, Texas. Hi. Uh, people join us from South Carolina and Alabama. Welcome, everybody. If you're just dropping, drop, uh, just hopping on here, you want to go back. We have covered a lot of topics, a lot of Q&A for Shaden and Tatum, things you might not know about them. Um, we've got people joining us from Scotland. Welcome. And people joining us from Michigan. What is the longest you've been apart? Longest we were apart was probably that first semester. Yeah, like four months. I think it was a little four months. Little four months. Yeah, yeah it was hard. that's a long time. Yeah. So it was from. It was really hard. From like late August to November, late mm -hmm. November. Did you hug your teddy bears a lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got people joining us from Ohio, from Yosemite, um, Virginia. And Dover. Where is Dover, Jennifer? Where is Dover? It's in Delaware. Is it? In yeah. Wisconsin. It's so cool. Watching from St. George, my first live. Welcome. And people joining us from Mississippi. We have uh, Southern ties on my mom's side of the family to Mississippi. So welcome. New Hampshire. Um, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is probably 10 Things I Hate About You. Are you serious? It's that one is old school with Heath Ledger. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I love He's that so movie fine. so much. Can I just He's... say that out loud? He's so <laughs> fun. <laughs> okay, um, your favorite movie, Shaden? I don't know. It's probably... I've always loved Inception. That's a movie that me and Dad would always watch. It messes with your head, though. Yeah, it's Inception. A, it's, it's a good one. Yeah to watch it after having a good night of sleep to try yes. to understand Give it. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is your second favorite movie? I don't know. Or a scary movie? Oh, there are some good scary movies. Yeah. I'm trying to think of one that we've seen. I'm trying to think of one recently that was good. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's hard to find good scary movies yeah. nowadays. My favorite like scary movie is a, like a 1950s black and white um, called The Bad Seed. Has anybody seen that? It's about this little girl that like does bad stuff and she, you would never guess it. And so like the whole film, you're trying to guess who did it and it's really, really good, but it is a scary movie from the fifties. Um, what is your favorite children's book? Um, my favorite children's book ever since I was younger, it's called, Where Is My Mom? I was such a mama's girl. So it's about this little monkey that got lost in the jungle and he was just <laughs> looking for his mom. It's a really cute one. That's cute. Uh, what about you, Shay? I'm trying to think. I can't think of Or one that I read one. to you a lot that you remember. I, I, just anything Dr. Seuss was something that I loved because I love to rhyme. I, you'd probably remember one of my favorite books more than me. I'm trying um, to think. Dr. Seuss, like all the Dr. Seuss books. Yeah, and I think like your mind is wired a little bit like dad's and so you were just very witty as like a three, four, five-year-old and you would remember and you liked rhyming. Mm -hmm. um, it actually drove your preschool teacher nuts because <laughs> one day you just wouldn't stop with all these rhyming words and mm -hmm. she was trying to understand like where it came from and I was like, oh, he's been reading a lot of Dr. Seuss as of late. She's like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Do you remember that preschool teacher in Washington? Yeah, she she was funny. She was so patient with all those kids. But yeah, you just loved your Dr. Seuss. <laughs> it's a classic. Okay, any more questions coming in? Um, what I think I just saw one. What is your favorite activity to do together? Oh, I'm trying to think. 
we like to stay in a lot. We're we're kind of we're kind of lazy sometimes. <laughs> so we watch a lot of movies. Um, but recently we built a Lego set together. We built the Up House when we watched oh, the movie. That's it was cute. So cute. And one of us cried a lot. I won't say who. It was Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a sad movie. <laughs> it's really sad. <laughs> It's so good. I always cry like the first five to ten minutes of that film. Mm -hmm. And when I was struggling with infertility, like that portion of the film like just made me cry so hard. It's just like this beautiful love story mm -hmm. in the first, what, five to ten minutes of the film. It just rips your heart out. It's so good. <laughs> I don't know it's why they so did that. Good. Um, what is your favorite game? Game. Like board game? Anything. Um, my family plays, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's called Ticket to Ride. I my love that plays game. That game yes, all the time. that's so fun. It's Ticket so to Ride. Fun. And then Settlers of Catan is really fun. Have that's you played cool. that? We, I have. We used to play that a lot yeah. with Dad. Yeah, that and probably Scum. That's a card game Scum. that we play a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Up movie is so good. It's so good. Sweet Home Alabama is somebody else's favorite movie. That is a good film. I love that one. Somebody asked about my favorite vintage children's book. Uh... I wouldn't say it's a vintage children's book, but did you guys ever read the book, Love You Forever? I love that one it's so, so much. good. It's that so one makes cute. me cry too. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to upstate New York? That would be a cool place for a date. No, I haven't been ever been it's there. It's pretty that far, be cool. but yeah, that mm -hmm. would be. I think we landed there briefly in Buffalo uh, on our way to Walt Disney World, mm -hmm. to Florida, because we took the cheaper flights, but they made you like fly from Southern Utah all the way up to New York and then to Florida. <laughs> um, Ticket to Ride is a fun game. Uh, it sure is. We love it. We love it. Um, hello from Norway. You've got Norwegians watching you. Yeah. Aren't, aren't I part Norwegian? I think we did figure out that you are part Norwegian on Grandma Smith's side of the family. Okay, because I'm 1 16th from Dad's side. Cause really? He, you figured it out? Yeah, because he had a great a great grandma that was full Norwegian. Did Whitney tell you? Uh, Dad did. Okay, I'm Whitney's good really good about genealogy, yeah. <laughs> so I thought. Um, I used to read Love You Forever. Uh, it is a good book. Fun getting to know you. It really is fun catching up with these guys. And they really are exactly in real life what you see here. Just down to earth, easygoing, and just wonderful, wonderful people. So we are so glad that they are a part of our family. And we hope maybe one day Tate will be a part of our family. <laughs> I did see a few people asking that question. We'll just have to see. Right now these two are getting their education in and... Just, you know, going your own path, which is why they're at separate schools, because Tatum, I think you said, you know, you really love the program there with mm -hmm. what you're studying, and Shaden's getting his associates and gets the opportunity to play soccer, so it's just good. It's just good. Yeah. Okay, well, these two, I think, are headed out, so if you guys have any more questions, we'll take just a few more questions, and then these guys have got to start packing. Mm -hmm. um, hi, Scott family. Glad to see you live. Thank you for joining us for today's live video. It's a little bit different, and it's so fun having these two cute kids on here. <laughs> Tatum's definitely the eye candy today, for sure. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, uh, fun date activity, paint something. I recently started to get back to church. I am not a member yet, but doing my family history. That's really cool. Um, so my little grandma that you guys have seen in the vlogs, um, she was a convert to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so was my grandfather. I want to say my grandfather was Baptist before, but I'm not sure. So yeah, family history is really fascinating. And I think, what's the church website that's like free to the public and anybody can do it? Do you know? I think it, you just find it through LDS.org. So maybe LDS.org. Family, family Search. Family it's search. Family Search. <laughs> So you can do your family history through Family Search for free, and it is so cool because people all over the world are making those connections, putting pictures in. I know I've tried Ancestry.com, and I've really loved that website as well. Um, I've also done like the DNA testing, and mm -hmm. it's so fun. Have you done it? I haven't done it yet. But... And then you can see who you, who you are related to like all over the world. It's really cool. Um, somebody just asked, how are the bunnies? They're doing good. They're getting so big, and they're so fluffy. They're so cute. Um, join late. Did you find a new home? Yes. And somebody just said family tree. So yeah, you can do your family history through family tree. You do not have to be a member of the same faith to be able to do it. Um, have a great time at school. Be safe and make good choices because I'm a mom and I can say that because <laughs> <That's a goal. laughs> all moms say that. 
Um, okay, any more questions for these kids before they head out here? And then I've got a bunch of questions that people ask in the DMs that I'm happy to answer those um, as soon as we are done here. Um, trying to think, Shaden, are you heading up this week? Yes, I leave tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's tomorrow right. Morning, yeah. Somebody just said thank you for visiting their country, Norway. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you for hosting me. It was yeah. a ton of fun. It was great. Would you go back? Yes, I yes. was. Yeah. yeah. Have a great school year. Have fun. And then they did like a heart emoji. <laughs> it was cute. Okay. Any more questions? We'll take one more question and then these kids have got to head out. When do the quintuplets start school? They start school on August 12th. Be safe and do something college. Prayers for you all. Thank you. That's kind. Good luck at school. Thanks for sharing with us today. I'm from Florida. I hope you all have a great day. Hopping on from South Carolina. Welcome. I'll take one more question. It's super quiet. <laughs> it's like crickets in here. <laughs> so, Shaden, when was your last day of work? Last day of work was probably right before the, the Wyoming and Norway trip. Yours was? Yeah. And she works not at Red Robin, at Baskin Robbins. My last live video, I was like, we, we saw her at Red Robin. Like, she doesn't work at Red Robin. She works at Baskin Robbins. <laughs> yeah, so. um, best of luck with the move. Thanks, Eileen. Um, we are almost done moving. We're actually going to have to move twice on August 2nd. Be safe. Have a great school year. Uh, much love from India. Thank you. Um... Okay, I think we're done with questions. Yeah. Okay, you guys want to say anything else? I can think of. Thank you guys. That's Thanks fun. for having us. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Okay, Tatum, here's your phone. Did you guys oh, bring anything else? I don't think so. We're just keeping it real on here. You know, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Okay, well, I love you guys. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, are you headed to grandma's? I think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we'll be up there hanging with the okay. friends. Thank you so much. Give the kids a squeeze. I'll be there in just a minute. <laughs> Perfect. Good. Save a soda for me. <laughs> Love you, couple. Okay. Well, it's good to see you guys. These kids are the best. Can you see them? They're just so <laughs> cute. They're so cute. I thought maybe they might kiss or something. You guys might see that. So these kids are so cute. Okay. So we had a ton of questions come in, so I'm happy to answer those. Um, what do you like to do in your spare time was one of the questions. I like to take a break and sleep. That is what I like to do in my spare time when the kids are at their dad's house. Um, somebody S B M O N S E Y said, can you ask, can you do a live video on Instagram? I don't have Facebook. So she's not going to see that over on here because she doesn't have Facebook, but I do want to try doing an Instagram live. I've never done that before. So next week I might try that. So I think I'm going to have, um, the guy that I'm dating come over and help me with that. And we'll see if we can do a Facebook live and an Instagram live at the same time. I think that would be really fun. So I actually love her idea there. Um, Cardscan76 says and asks, did Daisy ever get her other ear pierced? This is a great question. No, Daisy, I wish they would have pierced her ears at the same time, uh, but there was only one gal working at Claire's, and so she only has one ear pierced. And just yesterday, Daisy decided to take out her earring, and she says she doesn't want her ears pierced anymore, and she wants to let it close up. So I just don't know that Daisy was quite ready to get her ears pierced yet, so we will see um, in the up and coming weeks if she changes her mind. Um, but she is just so sensitive. So I don't know. I think the other girls love that their ears are pierced. Daisy, not so much. She just says that her earrings, when they're, well, the earring that is in, it just bugs her because it catches on things. So we'll see if she ends up getting her ears pierced after all. Um, somebody said they tried Babe Lash, the eyelash serum that I recommended. Um, any other must-haves? I was going to show you guys one of the things that I really love for my little makeup bag. Um, I've been using some lipstick um, that's actually a lip gloss that I really, really love. Um, and it is from the brand B-U-X-O-M. And this is in the shade Dolly. I've almost used all of it. This is why influencers do this because you can actually see it. Um, and it comes in like a little small size, but you can also get it in a bigger size. Um, this is the red lipstick that I usually pull out like twice a year at Christmas time and then in July. This one is called Hit the Beach, and you only need a little bit, um, but it kind of stains your lips, that one. But this one I love because it just adds a little bit of color without looking like you're wearing gobs of lipstick. Um, so that's something that I really, really love. And then I also love like L'Oreal um, 
mascara. It just adds a little bit more volume to my eyelashes. Um, okay, and then Chandra asked, where did you meet your boyfriend? How long have you dated? And have you showed his face? So if you haven't watched the last um, video where we're celebrating the boys' birthday parties, he does show up briefly in there. And I think somebody took a screenshot of his face. So he is in there. And I was asking, what were you and my dad talking about? in that portion of the video. And he said, actually, one of the toilets was starting to overflow from the quintuplets. And so he was asking for a plunger in the video. So if anybody caught that, it does show his face just briefly. Um, he's really sweet. We've been dating for almost 10 weeks now. And um, let's see, and how or where did you meet him? I met him through a, originally through the dating app on Facebook. So Facebook actually has a dating app, which is kind of nice. So I originally met him through there, but we connected over on LDS Mutual actually during speed dating. So within five minutes, we exchanged information. Um, and so anyway, that was how I met him. B. Smith asks, are you dating yet? So I just covered that. Yes, I've been on multiple dates with different people over the last seven, eight months. I've just started dating. Um, and then Amy says, question, out of the quince, which one is the best eater and the least picky? Uh, Amy, you guessed right. I would say Lily. She is a foodie. She doesn't have any food allergies. She can eat everything and anything. Um, she loves Mexican food. She loves sushi. She loves Thai food. She loves Indian food, she loves spicy, she loves non-spicy, and she's not very picky. Whereas my kids with the sensory processing stuff, Daisy and Logan, tend to be a little bit more picky about what they like and textures. Daisy will not eat melted cheese unless it's pizza, so just kind of funny, quirky things about each kid and their preferences. Uh, but I did think that was a good question. Um, Pat says, are you, or asks, are you happy now? Um, I hope you are because you've been through a lot of change. Yes, I feel so happy. Um, and just exploring this new portion of life, of what I want, what I want to create, and finding joy in those little small moments, just in the mundane things of life, I think is what makes me and the most happy. Um, Brianna says she's from Berkeley. How much help do you need these days? So we don't need nannies like we once did. Um, now it's just a babysitter. Like when I, like the girls just started, I haven't told you guys like this, the girls just started music lessons, vocal lessons today. And so I did have grandma Smith babysit the little boys so I could take them, the boys there. Um, and we probably will have all the quintuplets start music lessons, but I just want to get the hang of the girls first and then we'll start taking the boys. So just little things like that, doctor's appointments where I just take in half the kids or one kid at a time. I typically get a babysitter for the other kids, um, but I really don't need that much childcare. And then once school starts up, like I don't need as much um, babysitters because I'll just nag one kid and take them to the doctor's office when the other four are in school. So it's a lot easier than when they were super itty bitty. We used to have every two hours and you all know who you are every two hours we would have a couple of people come help with the shift so that there were three people helping with feeding the babies and then it just helped in my recovery and rest um okay jessica asks what is your favorite season and why i'm really excited for fall back to school season um i love the smell of like freshly sharpened pencils and like crunchy leaves and cooler air and weather and all of that and fireplaces and pumpkins so i'm just really looking forward to this new fall season with the quintuplets and the big kids um let's see i may have missed it but did you buy which of the three of the townhouses so i am still house hunting i just about decided i think i have papers to sign today and i'm really excited to show you guys that property i have looked at a lot of houses and a lot of townhomes and i've also had questions why are you renting when you could buy so my overhead i need to simplify as much as possible and so i just don't have the ability to purchase a larger bigger home which has left me with one property in the same um in the same high school boundaries that Landon has asked for. And so that home is a three bedroom town home, but it does have a loft that I could turn into a fourth bedroom. So I still am debating whether or not to get that property, but as of today and tomorrow, I'll be making a final decision on that. 
Um, Bernadette said you thought that this was my dream home and it was I have loved this house and I covered this in my last Facebook live We've lived here for about a year and a half I hope to live here for like the next five to ten years But I have got to lower my overhead So when I purchased this home interest rates were at 7.2 percent I bought down a point to 7.1 and I did okay until the last six months and it has been I have 20% battery. <laughs> so anyway, with inflation and the cost of living and being a single mom, I have just had to make that hard decision to lower my overhead and sell my home. So yes, I love this house. Um, I've loved making these memories here. I've loved the pool. So I'm hoping to rent for just a year or acquire a little property for just a year and then reassess where we're at. Um, so that the kids can have a backyard and have the space we need but for now simplifying is just better and vicky said her interest rate is like three point something i know my last house my interest rate was 2.9 percent and it was amazing and we were so comfortable in that house so yeah you know sometimes you just have to reassess and simplify but like i've said before home is what you make it home is where family is and home is where you are loved and so i'm excited to create a new space moving forward um Let's see, Lori asks, if you were looking at a smaller house, where will Landon and Shaden sleep? Shaden is attending college up in, uh, up in, um, sorry, my brain, up in Wyoming. And so he will be living up there in a dorm room. And then when he comes down, he spends most of his time in his dad's house just because his dad is a guy and you know, like the male to male bonding thing is just like important for a kid. Um, and so when Shaden does come over, um, we just pull out a place next to Landon and then they sleep there. Uh, but Landon will have his own space. So I am looking at places that are four bedrooms or if it's a three bedroom, the loft will be turned into a fourth bedroom. So Landon has his own space. Um, Anne asks, what software do you use to edit your videos? So if it is like an Instagram or Facebook reel or story, I am just doing that through Facebook or Instagram. If it's an actual vlog and video, I'm Kyle, the, our editor is actually editing that. And so I'm not sure what software he uses for that. Uh, Julie says, wishing you all the very best every day. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. And then Regina says, my daughter Aaliyah asks, do you like remodeling? I absolutely love it. And honestly, the person that I'm dating right now is really handy. And so like if all that works out one day, like I would love to have, again, a fixer upper type of home. He's probably gonna hate me for saying this because then he's gonna feel like he's gonna have to remodel it. But I do love the thought and process of like remodeling and seeing something and taking it from like nothing to something absolutely beautiful and something that you love. So I do love remodeling. It is work and it does cost money. Um, and so if I have ample of that and the time and somebody who's super handy, um, I think that would be really fun to do that again. Find a place that I love that has great bones and turn it into something beautiful. Noreen asks, what was your boyfriend's reaction when you told him you were the mom of Quince? Okay, so as I was doing this online dating thing, um, speed dating is this new thing um, that's about five minute chats with people on LDS Mutual, so it's a lot like Christian Mingle, the app like that. Um, so it was about five minutes long, and then within that conversation, I mentioned just right off the bat, because I'm always up front with people that I have quintuplets plus two older boys. And he was quiet for all about five seconds and then quickly replied back, that is incredible. And I was just really happy about how he responded to that. And so he actually really loves my kids and I love that he loves my kids so much and he sees them as quintuplets, yes, but also as individuals. And he notices their likes, their dislikes, their preferences, and he's been really sweet. So I have been getting to see him like before he goes to work, he stops by for lunch. Um, for a quick lunch break and then I get to see him right after work and he's just wonderful and he comes from an incredible wonderful family he was raised in Arizona but then he also has extended family in Richfield that he spent a lot of time with um, and so it's been really fun getting to know him and I got to meet his kids I saw two of his kids again last night he and his former spouse have incredible children and they really are the best of both of them and i really admire how they co-parent so i just want to throw that out there that i'm really enjoying getting to know this person uh Brittany asked do you ever swear i thought this was a funny question yes i do i don't think i ever said a swear word until after the quintuplets were born 
And mainly it was because it is so hard sometimes. So like if we're just being real and we're being really honest here as women, I think being a parent and being a mom sometimes is just really, really hard and you are just stretched to the max. So I do have my days where I'm like, this is really, really hard. Um, do I swear a lot? Do I swear often? No. Um, and then Brady also asks, what's your favorite joke? Probably just a classic knock, knock joke. I know Logan really likes knock, knock jokes. Um, and then what was 15 year old Jamie like was her third question. Um, probably I'd say really quiet. I didn't have like a ton of friends, but I had really, really close girlfriends. And so I would say if it was like late at night, probably silly. Um, but if it was just like during the day, probably just more introverted, reserved and quiet. And I have grown tremendously, I'd say specifically in the last three years because I've had to um, dig deep. And I think now I'm probably more of that ambervert that's no, that I, I'm not a true extrovert by any means. I recharge alone by myself in the with the quiet. Um, but an ambervert is the ability to adapt and to learn how to adapt to change. Um, I love that Bernadette says, oh my gosh, every mom swears. Uh, momming is tough. Yes, I think so. I think so. So anyway, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to take questions. I remember you would go into the pantry to get a moment alone. Cheryl, you were absolutely right. Yes, I do have my moments where I hide out in my closet. Sometimes I eat double stuffed Oreos and I love me a good Dr. Pepper straight up. Now that I'm getting older, I understand that your metabolism changes, right? And so learning to adapt to that, I started drinking diet soda. I always thought it was weird that moms drank diet soda when I was a kid, but now I'm like, oh, I get it. I get it. Uh, Robin is joining us from Paris. Is that Paris, France? Um, Bernadette says she's Catholic. I spend a lot of time in the confessional. <laughs> Bernadette, I love your honesty. I appreciate that. It just makes you feel more real and alive and like, it's just relatable, right? Like I think being a parent is hard work, especially when you're doing your best and giving it your all. Um, and Bernadette says she hides in the laundry room. That is a good place too. My laundry room for now, it echoes and my kids would know that I was in there. For me, I like to hide out in my closet uh, because it has carpet. Um, is Skylar still doing Facebook? Yes, he is. Um, he has his own Facebook page and he kept, so with the divorce, I kept Facebook and we divided the platforms. He has Instagram and he has YouTube. Robin is from Paris, France, and she is there to watch the Olympics with her family. That is really cool. There has been some really amazing moments so far. My favorite Olympic moment, Dr. Pepper Zero is the best, Michelle. That's my favorite too. My favorite moment was actually watching Michael Phelps cheering on Simone Biles as she was doing her gymnastics stuff. Like that was really cool to see the other athletes cheering each other on because I think nobody gets it more than people like that where like everybody's watching, it's all eyes on them and they are perfectionists and passionate about what they do. So that was really cool. Um, and just the excitement in those gymnast faces, that's so far the portion that I've been watching with the quintuplets. And it's honestly been fun because Lily and the girls have been wearing their gymnastics, um, have been wearing their gymnastics outfits and in pretending that there are these professional gymnasts too. So it's been really, really fun. Uh, Lisa says, it's been great sportsmanship. Yes, I love watching people support others. Um, Vicki says, and the children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been really, really fun watching the girls get so excited about that. Um, and I'm amazed that their little gymnastics outfits still fit them after three years because they were just itty bitty skinny skinnies. Um, love your honesty and love you sharing your stories. I hope it's relatable. I hope it's real. I know when I'm filming and doing the vlogs, a lot of it is about the quintuplets. Um, and so I do appreciate these lives because I feel like we get to connect as women a little bit more in this space. Um, I agree, love watching that too. Um, yeah, I've loved watching the Olympics this year and I'm excited because the Olympics are going to be in Salt Lake City in another 10 years. So the quintuplets will be 16 and a half. So hopefully we can all drive up there and watch some of that. So fun story, they had, um, they had the Olympics way back in Salt Lake. I can't remember what year that was. If you guys can remember when the Olympics were in Salt Lake City, you can type that in the comments. But my sister got tickets to go attend curling. And I think it was the first year that they were showing and doing curling. And my sister said it was honestly really boring, but they were just so grateful to not be in school, be up there with their teacher and get to go. And so they made all these like posters and signs and then they were cheering and they actually, okay, Salt Lake 2002 is when it was. 
Um, she and her friends, like they showed him on the Jay Leno show, like the late night talk show. And there was like a little spin off of like who knew curling was so exciting. So my parents just happened to be watching it that night. And here's this like image of my sister and all her friends cheering for curling. So that was like my sister's claim to fame at like 12, 13 years old. Um, somebody said never a silent minute in their life with four kids and five grandchildren. I agree. I think being a parent, I think being a grandmother is a lot of work. And right now we are temporarily staying at grandma, grandpa Smith's house while we are in transition these next seven days with getting into the new place that we're going to be living in. And I am just really grateful that we have amazing grandparents on both sides of our family, that we have a place to go, that we have a place to stay. And my kids are just so loved by each of their grandparents. So I'm just really grateful for the grandmothers out there. If you were watching this, if you help out with grandkids to help make ends meet for your granddaughter or somebody else, like hats off to you because grandparents are amazing and you don't have as much energy as you probably did when you were raising your actual kids. But like no joke, being a grandmother is so important and it changes the lives of your kids and your grandkids. So I'm really grateful for grandparents, especially this week. Um, I have loved spending time with each one of you. I am going to get back to the little kids and relieve Grandma Smith from childcare. I love each one of you. Thank you for supporting my family. Um, I would love to know in the comments, would you like to meet my boyfriend? He is just fine with being on camera, but I've just been navigating this and wanting to make sure that he feels comfortable and just easing the kids and everybody into this, but it has been so fun. Um, so if you would like to meet him officially, just send a comment, leave a note in the comments, yes or no. Um, my kids really love him already and I think he'd be a great addition to the family um, as a support system. So anyway, um, I love each of you guys and I'm just grateful that you watch and continue to support our family. It makes a world of difference for me in raising my kids and providing these opportunities and experiences that my kids wouldn't otherwise have as quintuplets plus two. Thanks again for watching Five to Love. Love you guys and I will catch you the next live. See ya, bye.